You should have stretched. I, sh I should stretch before I do this, shouldn't I? Yeah. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well we are here today at Black Swan Antiquities where Michael was recently and didn't even call us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was actually here three years ago. I'm pretty sure it was three years ago with Juliet and Andrew. Um, and I completely forgot about it. And Becky, who is a vendor over at Lemoyne, was like, you have to go back, you have to go back. So we're here today. We're here today following in Michael's footsteps and we are going to search for treasures that we can buy and flip for a profit. Hopefully Michael left some for us. I'm really hoping. Are you hoping that? I hope so. I, at yeah. least one thing. At least one thing. <laughs> so let's head in and see what we can find. Oh, Dagny's <laughs> already making money and we haven't even gone in the door. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at all of these little figurines. We love figurines. Dagny loves figurines. Dude, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> we will be seeing some dogs. Yes, there will be some dogs in today's video. These are curiously shaped. I don't know if they're supposed to be strawberries because they're shaped like that. I thought, hey, look, they're little pumpkins. Pumpkins aren't usually shaped like that, though. And the little foxes. Oh my goodness gracious, what is that? That is a cat bottle. Back there. Look at this little deer. Isn't that just deer? It kind of looks like California pottery. It makes me think like real hundo, maybe? I don't know though. At first I thought it was a lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a deer. Oh yeah. Is that, is that real hundo? I don't know. I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure it's probably USA pottery. I like it. It's seven dollars. I like that one. You had that because it was a Shih Tzu and I took a picture of Susan yes. next to it and sent it to you. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at the doggies. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at how he's. Oh, he's from Disney, isn't he? Is that the guy from Lady and the Look at him. He's I think he is. Over old plastic, old plastic dog. He's cute. He's only two dollars. Only two dollars. I like this one. I think I'm gonna bring this up front. Hey Dagny, look, it's Benjamin Franklin. This is a carved bunny rabbit box to put your stuff in. <laughs> I think just yesterday I bought a, um, a carved egg to put your stuff in. I mean, just stuff in general. You could really put anything in there, so I just generalize when I say stuff. Oh, it's marked. What is that marked? Oh, that's gonna be too faint, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, it says Arthur Corposerbutter Design. That's what it says. <laughs> oh, there we go. What is this little guy? Oh, he's a plastic he's a plastic snowman. I thought he was a ghost. <laughs> I was kind of excited. And then this Pendlefin rabbit. He's definitely a Pendlefin. Five dollars. He's a, a muncher. He's a muncher rabbit. He's got some chippies there, unfortunately. Got some chippies. They've got some fun Christmas stuff here. I see the Annalise. You guys know I'm obsessed with Annalise. It's a nostalgia thing. They don't always have the best resale value, but I just have this personal obsession with them. I've got I've got a few of the, a few of those things. That's one of them. Let's see what we've got here on this shelf. I love I love this elephant. It's so cute. I actually think we bought and sold one very similar to this in the past. That one kind of looks um, Italian to me. Maybe is it? Now I'm, I need to prove it to myself and 
turn it over. I think we have one of these with a shade. No, it's, that's what it is. It's tote, tot line. It's hot line SA. Interesting. I don't know. What is this? Composite lion face. Handcrafted female cardinal. And it's signed. Can't really read it though, unfortunately. She's in really good condition. I kind of like her. I actually just put a bird like this in Dagny's box that we're swapping today. But um, for 24, I'm not real sure about that. I think I could make some money on it, um, but not enough. So I think I'm gonna leave that for the next person. This is curious. Pottery water buffalo. This looks like Bavano, is it? It is Bavano, handmade Bavano. Goose. $10. Ah, I wonder how much. I mean, that could be interesting. Some of the Bavano pieces sell pretty well. They're um, enamel, copper enamel usually. Yeah, it looks like, looks like copper. But that's a fun goose. A lot of the times I come across them and they're just dishes. Decorative dishes. So for 10 bucks, I might grab the goose. I'll grab the goose. What else do we have in here? Oh, I like that rabbit back there. Will you look at that? Everyone's like, look at what? This. I love making people guess at what I'm going to grab. <laughs> Abstract pottery dish, $15. I really like that. It kind of looks Danish modern to me. I'm surprised it's not marked and there's nothing on the bottom. I'm going to assume it's likely an ashtray, but you can repurpose it any way you'd like. Because I know some people don't really like the whole ashtray thing. Um, this is also an interesting piece. Japan pottery, $10. I like the shape and the color and the lines of it. A lot of people ask how I can pick up a piece and then decide instantly and put it back down. A lot of my decision is based on the shape and the color. And um, then I look at the bottom and I'm like, eh, is it signed maybe? Is it not signed? But I base a lot of my decisions on colors, don't I? Do. I do. Well, it's what attracts your eye. You know, oh, look at this green boot. You know, it was brown. Yeah. This is Love from Hunt Zell, 1958. Pus, push, push, Puskas. 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 That's an ammo. Yeah, it's eighteen dollars. If it was like ten, I might grab that. But I don't think I can. This is also really nice. Let's peek at the bottom of that. That looks like it could be a coma. Signed Indian pottery vase. Unfortunately, $30. I'm not sure I can do that. Of course, I don't know the make I, I don't know the maker of that, but I feel like I'm uncomfortable at that price point. I've got some Mary Gregory up here. Those are nice Mary Gregory pieces. Two for 30, that's not bad. There's a little boy and a little girl. I like those, but I just don't know. Mary Gregory is all over the place. Anytime we sell it, it could go one way or the other, and I just don't know on those, so. Dagny, you didn't grab it. I didn't grab it, because I have two up for auction right now. Do you? I want two cheaper ones that I have at Goodwill. You have two up for auction? Yeah, but mine are chipped, but that's really nice. And it's a swan. And it's a swan. It's a swan. swan for $10. It's a Moravian tile. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go grab the $10 swan Moravian tile. I grab the ashtray. Oh yeah, Fenton. Yes. Sweet. All right, so I will grab the Moravian tile since Dagny is gonna pass on it. What is this? Oh, it's wood. I thought maybe it was Artesania Rinconata. <laughs> As I was walking past, I noticed this. 
four dollars. Mmm, it's marigold. That's just not a pattern that I've seen before. Or if I have seen it, it's, I don't remember it. It's not very, very often that I've seen it. It's like a fern pattern. I like it, but because it's marigold, marigold's more common. I think I might. I, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. All right, well, it looks like it sells for about what they have it priced at. So, unfortunately, I can't buy it for resale, but it's right on point. So, we're going to back away slowly from the carnival glass. I think that's a fantastic piece of tramp art. Look at it. Well, you look at that. Well, you look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> $35. And I love that it, you can like see the way it was constructed. Mm -hmm. That's what caught my eye. Yeah, that fly is like all up in your, you like touched the tramp art and it like flew out of the little cupboard and it's like, this is my home. <laughs> He's defending his home. There's like a PA. What does it say? I'm curious. That's awesome. I just walked into this booth here and noticed this set up here. This is amazing. I love it. I love the contrast of the colors, the green and the blue. It's only $15. I see why. Um, it actually says on the tag, uh, glass is rough because there are lots of flea bites along the edges and the flea bites are you know, little chips that, I mean, that one you can see, but you can't necessarily see flea bites, but you can feel them when you run your fingers across them. And um, people who deal a lot in glass, that's just a term that they use to describe little flea bites. And this not only has flea bites, it has actual chips, <laughs> unfortunately. So I think that this is, this is pretty cool. A bunch of Boy Scouts by a fire. I really like that. So this box right here, this box, or now I said this box, because you said I'm gonna get the tramp art box, my mind is on boxes. This bag right here is uh, $10, and it does have some weighed figurines in there, but what I'm really interested in are the chipmunks. I really, I'm digging those chipmunks. Um, I don't think those chipmunks are weighed. The others are weighed. I'll just put those in this sh giant shoe box full of weights that we have that we need to list. Um, but I really love the little chipmunks. Do you see what I see? Look at all these shells. <laughs> They're fantastic. Great idea just to glue them on. Yeah. No, I was actually, I mean, I feel, I feel like they knew I was messing with them, right? <laughs> it's a theorem. It's a kitty theorem. I love it. A kitty on a braided rug. They want 29 for it. They've got some really great artwork on this wall. Really fun artwork. I was admiring this guy up here. Mid-century poodle. It's an oil painting. That's pretty nice. $39.99. I'm tempted. Do I need more artwork? No. <laughs> but I like it and I am tempted. It counts for something. You found a Grindley? Right oh my gosh, and he still has his sticker. I secretly co collect Grindley figurines. I secretly collect them. I secretly do, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of by accident, because I just, I found one and then I didn't really want to sell it. And then the next one I found, I was like, oh, well, I have one of those already. Now I have two. And now I have a collection. Oh my gosh, it has its sticker. I love it. And it's so funny because as soon as we rounded that corner, you went straight for the dogs and my eye went straight for that blue cat. And I was like, I'm going to give her a little space and then I'm going to swoop in and I'm going to grab that blue cat. <laughs> oh, I love it. So I have multiple of the Grindley hounds. I have a skunk. Now I have the cat. 
And I forget what other critters I have, but I have quite a few of the Grinling figurines now. Eventually I'll probably be like, okay, it's time to pass these along. But I think this is the biggest one. The one I'm really looking for is the fox. The Grinling fox. And they're not super valuable, but um, I'd love to have the Art Deco Grindley Fox because they are super cool. Oh, I love that with the on the baby. This little one. That is great. A little folk art kitty cat there. This. Nope. Oh my gosh, what did you just find? <laughs> <laughs> Is it on this shelf? Yeah. Oh, you found all the lids. I found all of them right there. All of them right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, I thought you were looking at this. No, look what you just found. A lady blue dish ray does. She looks like Yorn Winblad. Jorn? Jorn? Jorn. Bjorn? Bjorn. 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 Bjorn Winblad. When you said it, I could see Yeah, it. I could never, I could never say it. Oh, made in Japan. Oh, in Japan. they're copying. Sneaky snakies. Copycats. Don't be a sneaky snake. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> this is uh, so the old antique ginger jars that are always missing mm -hmm. their lids. Oh, that goes in this is it. the insert, and I always come across them, and I'm always like, they're always missing this. Now I know I have one of these pieces because this piece is always lost and broken. So when I come across one the next time, I'll know got one of those. Hopefully it's the right size. Missing lid. <laughs> Adorable, look at him. <laughs> oh gosh, look at him. He's super cute. He's like real derby looking. That's my favorite kind of figurines. Derby figurines, that's exactly right. This is cool. Chips. How much do we think it is? Eighty dollars. I love it though. I just bought an ashtray just like this yesterday. Let's stay. All right. I like him. He's single. This was like a no smoking ashtray. Like every time you look at that face, you're are like, you sure you want to Yeah, smoke? are you sure you want to do this? Sure you want to light up. It's the guilt method. This looks like an end of day tumbler. $15. Kind of nice looking. Oh, they're sweet. They're little leprechauns. Their eyes are a little. Weird. I like him because his eyes are. Because <laughs> his eyes are closed. <laughs> He's staring at you. Oh, that's oh funny. I have this glass. This is my favorite glass to drink out of. Oh, I have one of those at home. Mine's orange and yellow. <gasps> this is a blue one. I have the blue one. Do you want it? I'll give it to you. It was my favorite glass in the world. It's red and I have the red and orange. Those glass. are sour cream glasses. I didn't know it was a sour cream. It's glass. a sour cream glass. I have one. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I do. I have one. Thirty-five. It's a little frightening. I would. You're afraid of it here. I'm How afraid to take it off the shelf. Now that you're a professional filmer. Look at that. The bottom looks pretty nice. Let's see your signatures though. Kind of like it. It's neat. It's weird that it, it goes like this, mm -hmm. so it's not like all straight. It's 35. I don't see any dish count. No. Oh, you see that up there? This one right that? Yes. I did see that. Do you think I can reach it? Yes. Wait, let me. There is a ladder here. I don't feel. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it without the ladder. Okay. This could be catastrophic. But hopefully, it's not really. Good. Oh, you, my my leg is cramping. <laughs> <laughs> this happens every time. <laughs> you should have stretched. I, sh I should stretch before I do this, shouldn't I? Yeah. 
was just kidding. <laughs> Made an Emily. See? I like it. You worked hard for it. I did work really hard. They want $95. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I don't know how much I'm going to Well, maybe it can just go down the way. Yes, we'll see. I'll find, it. I'll find a very good spot. With okay. No, oh, I'm... like right there on the corner next to the apron. I like that idea. That's okay. where we'll put it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I don't like a $95 for us. <laughs> How did I miss that? Is this someone you were pointing at when I was like completely clueless? $90. Gla oh, it's Glass Eye Studio. Is it marked? Yes, it is. It's beautiful. We've sold some paperweights from Glass Eye Studio. Oh my gosh. This is the most like unassuming booth because I don't do much with tools, right? And I'm walking by and I'm like, look at all of these tools. And then I just so happen to glance into the back of this booth and spot this. What in the world is this beautiful thing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Mad Hatter Mid-Century Lamp, 125. I've never seen a shade like that. Ever. Ever, ever. And I'm obsessed with it. That is, this is phenomenal. This is the craziest, crazy lamp for the crazy lamp lady that I've ever seen. And you know, you know I have to buy this. I can't not buy this. Because I, I will never see another one like this. There's other lamps that I come across where I'm like, I'll come across another one eventually, but this one, I don't feel like I'll ever find, I'll never see another one like it. I have to buy this lamp. I'm going to buy this lamp. This lamp is coming home with me. All right, well, I think we are going to end this video right here and split it off into two parts. So we're going to pick up tomorrow where we've left off and hopefully we will see you then. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.